Hey guys, welcome back to our online learning modules. This is uh, the second in a series of four on the intraoral camera. These next three are going to deal with when and how we use the intraoral camera. Now the big picture is we use it all the time. Any opportunity we have to make our life easier and show a patient something as opposed to tell them a really long story, we take it. So we're going to divide these next couple segments up into the three big areas. First, the new patient exam. The next module will be on hygiene. And the last one will be is how we use the intraoral camera when we have a restorative patient. And we'll include in there Invisalign. Well, let's focus on, uh, on this module here, which deals with the new patient exam. Now, without getting into all the relationship things that uh, some of you have heard me speak about in the past, let's talk about three ways a patient can walk in your door. People inherently will walk in either having high trust in you and I, they're going to believe whatever you and I tell them because we're the dentist, they came here, they were recommended to us, and we're going to be able to have uh, a good relationship with them right from the get-go. The second way a patient can walk in the door is maybe middle of the road. Maybe they need to meet us and form an opinion. So they're not really high trusting, but they're not really someone we've got to worry about who has a lack of trust, which is the third category, a new patient who comes in with no trust at all. And our job is to prove to them that we are worthy to uh, treat their teeth and treat their families. So one of the basic tenets of why we use our intraoral camera on a new patient is to build trust. Because what it does is it takes away any subjectivity to what you and I might bring to the table and makes everything very basically objective. A picture's worth a thousand words. And although your patient may not understand everything they see, they are very, very capable of looking at an image and saying, I like what I see, or I'm not sure that I like what I see at all. So we use our camera all the time with our new patients. Now, every single patient who walks in for a new exam in our office gets the same series of six pictures. Those six pictures may be all we take. Those six pictures may be the foundation for a future appointment where we break out our Canon 10D and we take some very technically driven pictures. That's reserved more for people that we're going to do some big time dentistry on, anything cosmetically driven. But no matter how you slice it, a new patient exam in our office involves this camera and the same six photos. So let's go through them real fast and then we'll close out for the day. The first picture we're going to take is a full face picture. Couple benefits to it. First and foremost, in every dental software application today, you can place a patient's image as part of their chart. So when a new patient walks in the door, anyone who happens to be out there, whether they've met that person or not, is going to know who that person is from appointment number two through appointment 102. It's a great identifier. Full face picture is also pretty good to put up on the screen and let a patient take a look at themselves and see something that they like or that they don't like that they may have questions for you and I about. Our next picture is better for that. That's the smile shot. So we put this smile shot up very often, leave it up for a couple of minutes. I may walk out and do a hygiene exam. My assistant may be recording some other things we need in that appointment. But a patient has 30 seconds to three, four minutes to really focus in on that image without anybody introducing uh, any verbiage at all. It is amazing what people see when they're looking at their smile magnified 20 times. Any kind of overlap, any kind of chip, crack, um, old bonding material that doesn't match anymore your patients now are going to start asking you questions about treatment instead of you having to bring them up. The next two pictures, so numbers three and number four, are occlusal shots, one of the maxillary arch, one of the mandibular, one of the mandibular arch. Easy pictures to take, a whole lot of information all at one time. You can zoom into any one quadrant pretty easily. Um, you get it all on one picture of each arch. And then the final two pictures that we take are a retracted view where we're looking at a buckle shot, left side and right side. Same exact point for taking the occlusal shots. It's a lot of information. 
and one image on the left, and one more image on the right. So the long and the short of it is the goal is to build trust, to educate your patient, and to let them see things that you and I naturally see so they can ask us the question and we don't need to bring it up with them. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time when we go over uses of the intraoral camera in the hygiene room. Thank you.